today, there are still many unanswered questions about how Nicholson made his way from a wrecked car in no tie to the police department in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 2,200 miles away. KZI 9 News reporter Mike Cirillo is live in the studio with a minute by minute breakdown of the chaos. Mike, what can you tell us? Well, Kennedy, it all started around 10 a.m. Friday morning when police say Nicholson hit and killed Anthony Oyster and seriously injured Linda Oyster with his car. This happened at the RV campground area at the Mill Casino in North Bend. Minutes later, North Bend police were called to Herbal Choices Marijuana Dispensary, where they say Nicholson shot and killed Jennifer Davidson. Police later found the body of Nicholson's father at the same campground. Meanwhile, police say he fled the scene in his father's pickup truck. That same day at 12.10 p.m., the Lane County Sheriff's Office received reports of a single vehicle crash on Highway 126 near Notai. Nine minutes later, the first Lane County Sheriff's Office deputy arrived on the scene, but the driver was nowhere to be found. The person had last been seen going off into the woods. Uh, it didn't take long at all for us to realize that the vehicle that had been crashed or driven off of the roadway in some form was the suspect vehicle, uh, the white Dodge pickup that uh, had been uh, had fled the, the homicides earlier. Meanwhile, roughly 25 miles away in Springfield, 34 year old Laura Johnson was preparing to take her lunch break at Cabela's on Gateway Street. At 1230, she was seen walking to her car and leaving for that break. Security footage shows Johnson returned to her original spot a short time later and she was approached by Nicholson. This was the last time Johnson was seen before she was reported missing the next morning. Back in Notai, authorities were working to lock down Highway 126. Lane County Sheriff's Office says this process was complete by 1245 at the latest, about 35 minutes from the initial call. The highway remained closed until 520 when authorities determined the suspect had likely already fled the area. But by this time, it's possible that Nicholson was already 300 miles away. Both Nicholson and Johnson turned up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Johnson's family says she flew home safely last night and is in good health. She is currently resting and those close to her say she is spending time with her family. Reporting live in the studio, Mike Cerullo, KEZI 9 News.